Assalamu alaikum everyone. So um, today it's just a quick video to show you how to add layers to a graph. For example, if I have a graph here and I want to add some other layer of uh, some other properties, for example, if I make this x and x2 and xy over on this one, there are two ways. Uh, if I want to add the data in the same plot, uh, but a different data, so if the data range is a little bit so that this will be shrinked um, over here and then uh, the larger data will be over there but if i want to make them on uh, two different um, layers but the same way so how i can do is that um, i will just go from here uh, i will click on the graph and i will go to this graph from here you can see it says new layer uh, in the new layer you will have different options for example if you want to use the same axis then you have this no axis option which is linked x y scale and dimension so whenever you are setting this uh, linked uh, for example for us here this is layer one so this will be the basic um, layer so if I change the dimensions or scale of this layer one, layer two will be automatically changed with the same thing. But in other cases, you can actually um, choose whichever you want to check. For example, here it's only linked Y scale and dimensions, but um, the X axis on the top is different. So it will be linking only on Y. Uh, so it will change uh, with layer one layer two will change with layer one only for y but for not for x and if you want to change only for um link x scale and you want to change only y then you have this axis so the right y will be the axis which will be the layer two axis basically and there are uh, top x and right y as well for example you want to use the same dimensions but different scales uh, and you can plot actually uh, totally different for example top x and uh, right y totally different plots so for now i am going to go for the no axis uh, and i will show you how how it makes on the same uh, axis so you just choose the no axis and you see it does nothing but appears the layer two now in layer two i will go on the plot setup and i have this worksheet named over here and I have different sheets from here, 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 over here, given over here. And from the different sheets, I actually, I can choose all the columns, for example, A, B, C, D, E. So I said I will choose the column uh, F and G. So I will go to the first sheet and I will go to the column G, F and G. So I will choose F as X and g as y and i will add them uh sorry i added them in the same scale so i can bring them down here and here in the second layer this is no access layer so this is layer two and i apply and it says okay and this is the same uh plot but two layers for this layer uh layer two we have this data and for layer one we have this data even if i select different data that if you see that the uh, layer automatically uh, gets black which is selected so this is selected so you see this is layer two if i select this this is layer one so your results will be appearing for example here i have with the data so it appears down one two three four whichever uh, results i'm adding to this one so this is how it goes on the um same axis uh, now i will show you that how it goes if i just do not select this layer i will delete this layer and i will plot them as a totally different plot as a uh, different x and y so i again go to the graph i go to the new layer and i choose this one which is top x and right y so it will show me this x and y uh, x title and i go to the plot 2 and I go to the plot setup again and I actually can choose now again for example if I am choosing this which is this um, workbook 
and this first sheet I have and then from there I will choose again F and G as X and Y but now they are as a different layers so I have added them in here at this level and I say apply and you see oh sorry this is the line plot I will just convert it to the scatter one so as you see that now this has its own scale and it's not squeezed into that scale and dimension but it is spread over as its own dimensions so this is how you can do and don't forget to save the data whichever you make changes and thank you very much